I think we're always affected by the people that we see a lot, either on the screen or on the TV or on the internet, and we're looking at them and we're just thinking, yeah, I'd kind of like to be like that. Women have probably been affected in terms of their perception of the beauty or aesthetics of the arms as much by our first lady, Michelle Obama, as anybody else. This does get women thinking about how can I improve my arms, how can I um, look like the first lady or somebody else that they may have seen, either it's an athlete or um, a celebrity of other, uh, in other ranks. I think a brachioplasty is for a select group of people and that is people who have a significant amount of excess skin of the upper arm. It's not for somebody who's just got a little bit of looseness or a little bit of excess fat. If you have somebody who is expecting a different outcome than you can give them, or is expecting that there's not going to be a scar when in fact there will be one, or expects the scar to go away, which it will never do, although it will improve, that might not be a great candidate. Success for an operation like this comes from selecting the right patient and making sure that patient has the right expectations. You have to have enough there to make a difference. And when you have the right patient who understands what you're doing, they're motivated, they know what they're getting into, it's a great result.